Hey Kaylon, it's Miss Seal, it's math time. So let's start with our song. It's math time, it's math time, it's math, it's math, it's math time. Math meaning is the place to be. Come on everyone, let's count with me. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn it around. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off. So today we're going to start a, a new topic in um, math. So I'm going to just share a screen with you. We're going to pretend that we're playing musical chairs with these bears. Okay. All right, so this sentence says, is there not enough, exactly enough, or enough with extra? So we're learning some new vocab and like what those things mean. Okay, so the first one is we're gonna see some bears or the whole thing with chairs. See if there's um, not enough, exactly enough, or enough with extra. Okay. All right, so we're going to play musical chairs. Is there enough chairs for the bears? Hmm, let's see. So how many bears are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six bears. Now let's count the chairs. One, two, three, four, five. There are five chairs. So, Great. So if there are six bears and five chairs, will every bear be able to sit in a chair? Let's see. And will there be enough chairs for the bears? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So you said there was six bears, right? We go back. There was six bears and only five chairs. So not every bear got a chair. So there is not enough chairs. Everyone say there was not enough chairs. Great, we're gonna keep playing. Is there enough chairs for the bears now? How many bears are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six bears. Now, how many chairs are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six chairs. Ooh, there are six chairs and six bears. So will each bear be able to sit in a chair? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So what does that mean? Is there enough chairs for each bear? Yes, there is exactly enough chairs for the bears. Great, we're gonna keep playing. Last one, are there enough chairs for the bears now? How many bears are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six bears. And how many chairs are there? Oops, that number seven is there. Let's count them anyway to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are six bears and seven chairs. So will there be enough chairs for bears? Let's see, let's have them sit. One bear, two bear, three bear, four bear, five bear, six bear. And there is enough with extra because there were six bears and seven chairs. So there's more chairs than bears. So there is enough chairs with an extra chair to spare. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this part of the lesson for math. So we learned the words enough um not enough and enough with extra so that's how we compare some um of the amounts of things that we have if there is enough not enough 
and enough with extra. Um, sometimes we need to use these for parties, say for counting, um, say if we need pieces of cake. We need to make sure that we have enough for everyone at the party, right? So we would have to make sure that there's enough. So this is important to know. Um, sometimes it's good to have enough with extra, but we probably don't want to have not enough because that would not be fair, right? All right, well, I will see you tomorrow with a different lesson. Have a great day.